So I'm going to show you how to download it. So the, the stable is always going to be on raceflight.com slash download. So if you want one that's been really tested by everyone, that's the, a recommended one right now. If we go to raceflight.com slash download, what you're going to see is, is 324. 324, um, this one doesn't have all the new fixes and the new everything, but this one's been run long enough by enough people that we're very confident that it should give you a good flying experience. Um, it's not going to be the most prop wash free. It's not going to fly the best. It's not going to have every single thing fixed in it, but it is stable right now. Our hope is this version I'm going to show you next is going to be the next version up here um, because over the last two weeks, we've been busting our butt trying to get it to the point where it uh, works really well. I think the last step now is more work on tuning than anything to get a good base tune and get one where everyone's happy. Um, if you go to slash beta instead of slash download, um, you're going to get uh, you're going to get the latest version. So we have a new configurator for 18, and we're going to have a new firmware for 17. A little secret I'll tell you, and do this at your own risk. But if you rub the monkeys, uh, you can actually download pre-releases before we're even letting people beta test them. Now. These are pretty, you know, be very cautious if you ever do this because they haven't been tested by many people at all. They've been tested by us in-house, but we haven't given them out to anyone to test. These beta builds, we have the, the alpha team that, um, that tests them. So, we, so they've been tested somewhat before we release them to the public in general. I mean, we might do some small bug fixes or whatever, but in general, they've been tested. Um, so what you want to do is you want to download both the, the firmware here and the configurator that works for your system. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and download this firmware. Uh, so you get this file and you basically just copy this file to wherever you want to install it. So we'll put it in temp for now. So once I've copied that file, and hopefully you guys can see this, I know it's a little small, but you just want to right click and pick extract all. And you can extract it into whatever folder you want to call it. Now this is a good thing, a neat trick, because it names the, the folder, whatever you want. So I know this is version 418, the configurator. So I can always keep the older ones if for some reason I'm running multiple versions. You want to match the configurator with your firmware version. So now you just go in here and you run the executable. This is the same on Mac in general. Now it's going to give you a warning. You say run anyways. You say more info and then click run anyways and it will run it. Let me close the one I have open. On a Mac, you're going to get a security warning too. You're going to have to go to settings and pick allow run. The reason this is is because it's a brand new build that, that the, the virus scanners don't know about. Uh, when we get to version one, we'll get it certified and, and all that good stuff. But for now, this is what you have to put up with. So you plug in your flight controller. It's going to come up with this screen, welcome pilot. We're going to hit cancel here and click up here, update firmware. Now, the safe thing to do here is to reboot in a DFU mode. What that does is it uh, lets us overwrite the bootloader. Um, our bootloader doesn't change that often, but for now, it's a good idea to overwrite it. So we're going to pick that. And then you're gonna, it's going to just go automatically in DFU mode, and then we're just going to pick the firmware file we just downloaded. Um, I'll run it from here just because... Uh, it's the same file. So you just wait for that to, to download. Um, if you have older firmware, the new configurator should update it just fine, yes. You just pick the same thing, reboot into DFU, and pick that file. All right, it's finishing up the flash now. And once it does, one thing you'll notice is it goes back to the update screen. This is because we replaced the bootloader. So to fix this, we're going to unplug the flight controller. We're gonna, you want to wait 10 seconds. Because we want to give it time to discharge the capacitors. And then we are going to plug it back in. Once you do this, it should connect fine and give you this welcome screen. Now, 